하나님이 모세에게 이스라엘 민족을 데리고 나가라고 얘기했습니다. God told Moses to take the Israelites out of Egypt. 모세는 자기는 이제 할수 없다라고 얘기했습니다. Moses said that he could not do it any longer. 그것은 특별히 나이 때문일 겁니다. And that is probably because of his age. 하나님은 아직 모세에게 시작을 안한 겁니다. But God didn't even start with Moses yet. 많은 분들이 스스로 하나님의 계획을 버리고 끝났다고 생각을 합니다. Many people throw away God's plan. They believe that it is over. 심지어 기도의 사람 엘리야도 더 이상은 할 수가 없습니다. 그랬어요. Even a person of prayer like Elijah said, "I can go on no longer." 저를 차라리 뭐 불러가 주세요라고 얘기했어요. He asked God to take his life. 어려움이 오니까. Because he met with hardship. 아직. It has not even begun. The message was given again on Mount Horeb. That was the true message. There are things that we haven't done yet. We must do this. You must raise this partisan within yourself. Abraham, let's talk a little bit about Abraham. 이 부분은 처음부터 주신 거예요. I'll speak of this regarding Abraham, but this is the aspect that was given since the beginning. 처음부터 주신 것인데 예수 그리스도께서 완전히 완성을 시킨 거죠. It was given since the beginning, but Jesus Christ completed it. 처음부터 주셨습니다. It was given from the beginning. 하나님 것으로 망대를 세울 걸 처음부터 주셨어요. The partisan that we must raise, God gave it to us from the beginning. 그 여정과 이정표까지 다 알린데 애매하게 말씀하셨죠. 내가 네게 지시할 땅으로 가라. And the journey, the guide post, God spoke very clearly. Go to the land, I will show you. 막연하죠. And it's general. But He spoke of this journey. 그러므로 말미암아 모든 족속이 복을 받게 될 것이다. Through you, all the nations will be blessed. 그러고 분명히 말씀했습니다. Absolutely, He spoke of this. 내가 너와 함께하는데 아무도 너를 당할 수 없게 하겠다. I will be with you. No one will overcome you. 처음부터 얘기한 예수님께서 이걸 완전히 완성을 시킨 겁니다. Spoken from the beginning, Jesus Christ completed it. 예, 무엇을 말입니까? What are we talking about? That is important. What did God give to us? We must discover that. 저는 여기에서 완전히 일곱 망대를 찾아냈어요. And I've discovered the seven partisans from this. 지독해요. While continuously praying, 그리고 일곱 여정을 찾아냈어요. And I've discovered the seven journeys. 하나님의 나라 이루어지는 거예요. The kingdom of God being fulfilled. 그리고 이정표는 뭔가 하나님 나라의 일이 이루어지는 거예요. And the guidepost is the works of the kingdom of God being fulfilled. 이거만 됩니다. That's all you need. 이 축복을 누리는데 왜 이래야 됩니까? Enjoying this blessing, why must we do it this way? 이거 뭡니까? What is the reason? 오늘 우리 참사랑께 좀 왔는데 보니까. We are here at True Love Church, and so many important people are here. 아까 우리 김성범 장모님, 김준일 장모님 이런 이정훈 님들이 만났는데 이두분 장모님들이 하는 일이 굉장히 중요한 일이에요 보니까요. And we met with the elders Kim Sung-bum and Kim Junil and the remnant, and they do such important work here. 아, 저분들이 이제 뭐 생명공학적인데 앞으로 거의 다 직업 없어집니다. 그런 직업만 살아남습니다. And they are a part of bioengineering, and soon the many things of the world will disappear. 어, remnants도 알고 공부해야 됩니다. The remnants need to know before they study. 거의 지금 곧한 5년, 10년에는 확 들어닥칠 겁니다. 병원도 거의 없어집니다. In five, ten years, it will come all of a sudden. The hospitals will disappear. 생명공학적으로 다 붙어요. And everybody must go to the life engineering. 대단한 은혜를 받 하나님께서 큰 축복을 받 받았다고 내 얘기해 줬어요. And I told the elders that you have received such a great grace. 그세 가지 사명 줬다니까요. I gave them the three missions. 어머님이 진짜로 과학적으로 기도가 뭔지 이 모델이 되라. The elder must truly scientifically know what it means to be a prayer model. You must truly do this. 머리 있는 사람들이 그 말을 들을 겁니다. Because you're very smart, you'll understand quickly. 딱한 마디 알아들어야 돼요. You must understand when I say it one time. 기도가 뭐다? 이거 모르면 이길 수가 없어. 큰일 할수 없어요. If you don't know what prayer is, you cannot do anything great. 두 번째 사명 줬어요. The second mission I gave them. 그 많은 동료들 영적 문제 생길 수밖에 없어요. To your ma- 그들을 살리는 거다. Many colleagues, they're bound to have spiritual problems. You must save them. 이게 사명이다. That is your mission. 그리고 
And you must open the three-day weekend age and save the remnants. That is your mission. I told them a third thing. You must save the church. It doesn't exist yet. Truly, you need to make the church that could have the 237 healing for the multi ethnic and the remnants to be the summit. Every church must do that. This is the way of victory. We just come and give worship and then we leave. We can't be victorious that way. Those elders truly have skill. If they truly pray, they will transform. What? I explain this way. Imagine if Bill Gates was his elder. What's going to happen if Bill Gates was an elder? He gave $60 billion. And you realize after seeing a monitor. And you coming here saying something, maybe not for the adults, for the remnants, it's going to change their lives. And he's going to put everything on this smartphone, and that was Steve Jobs, and he transferred the world. They, they did the incorrect prayers spiritually, that's why they have spiritual problems, and spiritual problems came to America. We must raise a truly proper, proper church. That's the mission I gave them. Then how must we do this? It's extremely important. The answer has already been given. Truly, through prayer, we must have God's partisan within me that we could go on God's journey to see God's guidepost through prayer. And I met with these important people. Of course, everybody's important, but these are people who could truly influence many people. They need to truly pray. And completing your prayer, it's not just going to the mountain, but truly be able to do it through the important work that you do. That is. The remnants truly be able to study through their reading and be able to have the prayer take place. That is the true prayer completion. And I continuously match my breathing with my prayer as I prepare for the message and do all things. And because the elders are important, you must show the scientific evidence for this and relate to the posterity as well. And so you must continue through prayer, enjoy this partisan journey and guidepost. What's going to happen later? What's going to happen to the person who's talking about other people all the time? People are concerned 24 hours a day. What's going to happen? People focus on their job 24 hours. What's going to happen? Studying 24 hours a day, what's going to happen? The answer is already given. You must enjoy this 24 hours a day, receive power. Especially when you enjoy this, you receive the solution to your answer, you renew yourself, and you see the opportunity in this situation. More importantly, in the special cases that occur, that's when it's important. You through this prayer have the concentration, and you have the answer of limited concentration. It's only when you 
And when you have the Lord guiding, you have this selective concentration. This special case situation. When you have your special studying. All things coming together for the good. The oneness concentration. This is the method. And you must realize this to receive the answer to save the world. Then what is it that we must do first? Yeah. Speaking to Abraham, we see that the fundamental things must be restored. There's three fundamental things because there were three problems. The problem came from the Garden of Eden. And the age of the Noah's flood. And the problem of the Tower of Babel. That's what came. Because these problems continue. This is the answer we must restore. This amazing partisan journey and guidepost within my life. Within my journey. God breathed in this breath of life to come in within me. In Genesis 2, 18, to have place in my life. You must experience, if, if the remnants experience this amazing power will be given in your studies. And two elders, three people that I've met, that you have to have so much concentration to overcome. You must do this through prayer. And then what? The age of disaster came in the age of Noah. Build an ark for yourself. That's right. Build the ark for your posterity. Because so many people are dying to preserve life. Build this ark. The three problems came. From the Garden of Eden, age of Noah, and the age of Babel. And that continues to today. That's general people don't know. People who are very skilled, they have spiritual problems that come because they don't know. You must remember. And then what? That is why God told Abraham to leave your country, your father's household. And that doesn't mean to move. It means to leave behind the past that completely brings destruction. And then in verse 2, more importantly, Go to the land which I will show you. If you enjoy this borders of life, it will come ahead of time and you can go there. Absolutely, for the pastors, absolutely, it will take place for you. And through you, all the peoples on earth will be blessed. World evangelization must take place. This is God's rightful plan. And because it is you, no one will overcome you. That's right. That's right. If somebody curses you, I will curse them. If somebody blesses you, I will bless them. It is a rightful thing. This is something you must quickly restore. When you do this prayer, you must take into account three conclusions. Your reality first is yourself. And Abraham, he discerned by himself. His self-oriented thinking, that became a problem. 
even listening to all of God's word myself was the problem. You must be careful of that. 하나님의 말씀 순종 다 하면서 나라고 하는 게 문제가 돼. Obeying all of God's word myself becomes the problem. What is that? 본토 진짜 아버지 집을 떠나 떠났다니까요. He left his father's household, his country. But he didn't really leave. How can I live? So he used a strategy. And looking very graceful to others, but he used his smarts. God said to leave his father's household, but he brought his nephew. And so much is included in that. Future worries, economic worries is all included. And in the humanism, he used, it looks good because he brought his nephew with him. But it continuously became a problem for him. And because of that nephew, problems will occur. That's, right. That's when Abraham realizes. It's after Lot left Abraham. That is when God begins to work in Abraham. And so don't be deceived by yourself. Secondly, the field is before us. Our work. People. Materials, these things continuously occur. And this is where your limited concentration truly focus on your prayer towards God and the works will arise. And other deceptions is through the church. Don't listen to other people's words at the church, listen to God's word. 그 목사님들 가운데 말겠습니다만 목사님들은 참고해야 될 거는 내가 막 교회 안에 많은 인사, 재정 뭐 이런 거, 어, 행정 이런 걸 감당하는 거를 목회라고 생각합니다. 아닙니다. A lot of pastors here take into account that a lot of pastors think the budget, administration, moving people around that that, that is pastoral ministry, but that's not so. 예, 그렇게 하면 정확하게 계산해 보세요. 여러분 교회는 300명 이상 절대 안 되는 겁니다. Accurately accounted, you will never go beyond 300 members. It's absolute. It is a social a logic. And the church offices are rising up doing the work. Those churches grew. And you must just pray for them and relay this to them. This is what you must relay. And the churches fight over not other things, but the budget and the people and all those things. And it is your own thinking to think that if you entrust it to the elders, that they will mess everything up. And if those type of people are in charge, then God will stop their business and everything else. Absolutely, pastors, you must do this. If you don't do this, God doesn't like it the most. Christ spoke of this on purpose to stand as watchmen, going on the journey, showing all the path that you must go through the guideposts. And the transformation took place slowly, but this is the way you go to world evangelization. Because you have been raised as the watchman. The watchman absolutely need a watchtower. And the partisan must have a content. Now what is the platform for that? The seven partisans that God gives to us, that is the platform. If you make the platform, people will come. Partisans of God take place within me, then the people will come to the church. And people coming for every other reason, that's wrong. He only spoke of the gospel, but transformation took place and people are coming, that's the disciple. And God will give the immense power through the seven partisans. 
What is the watchtower? This is shining the seven journeys. And what is the antenna? That is the seven guideposts. That's all you have to do. So you could restore all things to correct prayer. Especially on Friday, tell the pastors to focus on healing ministry. And so you must do this, especially our elders going to bioengineering. Those people who do that, they're going to be diseased. You must heal them. You must do this on Friday. And healing isn't just about disease. You must even heal all the systems. And because if an important disciple comes, I'm going to teach them differently. You must do this in the field. Don't receive help. Be the one who helps others. If there's a true disciple, that's what I'll teach. And that's all having to do with healing. The missionaries that came to Korea, they did this so well. So we cannot help the Korean church any longer. The reason. Because you exist. You must arise to do world evangelization. That is the Nebius method, and that's what took place. Other countries, they continue to ask for things until they are destroyed. What about Saturday? All must gather together, and we will open this three-day weekend age. And if you go to America, we will gather the entire world together through core. It doesn't matter if the days don't match, maybe we do it on Tuesday. You must not lose of the message that goes around together, we'll broadcast it on Saturday. We started from Mark's upper room. We came all the way to the three courtyards of the 237 nations. We must see the works of God this way. It's not people who do this. Starting from the Lord, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now we are all the way here. We must see the entire historic flow of God. These are not my words. This is not just Darakbang ministry. This is not the Darakbang ministry. If you don't know this, your church will not work. You could try to make it with your own power, but it's going to crumble soon. It is the evidence of the world church. Robert Schuller, his church closed. All the big churches, they closed. And it closes within one generation. Why should we do that? The church must take the things that Christ has given to save the world. With the things that Christ has given, we must save the posterity. Why do we do other things? Remnants truly pray for this. With this intro, with this power, you must study. That is the truth. And I'm really praying so that we could choose the correct staff for our headquarters. And the people working for headquarters, they're very important. They're the missionary of missionaries. And I think it's a good idea to have them study in the seminary to become pastors and missionaries. Because I think they think it's some kind of worldly job. If you look far into the future, you'll lose. There's a need to renew. And 
they think it's just some other job that if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, they criticize later. It shouldn't be that way. You must hold to this covenant. There's a resolution that you must make. And we will do that the scattered disciples message. Because you must do this.